Hello, this is G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default. Since last time, I rearranged my setup to collect a couple genomes. And I'm going to do this a little out of order than I have in my notes, just to, well, make recording a little easier here. Now, let's see, the first group of enemies that I'm looking for are in the Florsheim Sea. So, yeah, let's go over here and sail around in the Eshla until I find the guys I'm looking for. Or if there are just new enemies, then I'll just fight them too. And, yeah, there's new enemies all over this place. So, I would want to go out of my way to examine them anyway. But, okay, let's see. Who do we got here? I do not know. These are not the guys I'm looking for. But I will take a moment to examine them at least let's see hell vipers they are oddly enough weak to water and earth so let's see let's get tiz and examine in there let me see okay i'm just thinking of how i can try to survive a round of combat while tiz is busy examining these guys yeah normally i wouldn't need to go out of my way to do this stuff? Well, they can inflict doom on you. I didn't know that. But yeah, normally I wouldn't go out of my way, except you pretty much have to here, because the plot never really requires you to, well, fight these guys. Or to fight in the floor time C there. So yeah, let's just uh, get Tiz back up and at him so we can partake in the experience. One earthquake, Boom, got him. Hmm, did someone not get a level? Oh, that's because, uh, ring of, that was job levels there. Yeah, because everyone else is at a different job level than ring of bell is, so that's why. But, all right. Oop. Yeah, just get a little more there and keep looking around for other enemies. Okay, there's another one. Let's see. Marine Devils. I believe these are the ones that I'm looking for. Let me check that out real quick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's that. Okay. So, let's uh, get busy examining them. And they have the genome spray that they can use on you. I think, if I recall correctly... Well, it's water elemental, obviously. Uh, I would think... Oh. Okay, they're not going to be attacking them. Let's see, I think it pierces the fall. I think that's what makes that one special. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Well, you've got the most HP there, Tiz. So why don't you go use White Wind to keep us all going, and the rest of us will just default and then until these guys actually use spray. Or they could totally kill us. Why not? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's have Adia take care of that now. Good thing I got a whole bunch of Phoenix Downs. Just want them to use the one genome on us, that's all. Back in action. There we go! Now I just need to survive. Ow. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Okay, let's see. Well, even though these guys are in the water... Somehow, they're still vulnerable to Earthquake. I mean, they're not weak to it like other elements, like the previous guys, but... I can still use it to deal my mass damage. So, a couple of those. Easy enough. Now, I will come back here later to fight the remaining enemies that I did not find already, but I just wanted to uh, learn the genome, get that out of the way, and then switch to my regular setup that I use when I'm not busy doing that. There's also a genome that I want to get at Lantano Villa. You could, I could have also done that back at Narende a Ravine there. But at the time, Tiz was alone and it would have been really difficult to learn that by himself. And since 
Usually, in Chapter 5 here, the enemies you encounter on the overworld can also be encountered in their corresponding dungeons. So, since I ran into... Uh, what is it? There were those... What were they called? I forget. The guys that have the genome that I'm looking for. And let me take a look. Uh, kobolds! That's it. Uh, just regular co kobolds, in fact. And, yeah, they have the genome that I'm looking for. But, yeah, we met them... We met up with them earlier, but now that we've got a full party, it's easier to take them all out. And you know what? I should make the encounter rate somewhat sane here. I'm gonna get into a battle in one step, aren't I? Oh, okay. Never mind. I was starting to think I had an intuition for this sort of thing. Or I'm just superstitious. I did put the encounter rate back to 0% of normal. Right? I think I did. Well, we got something going. Okay, so let's see. Which ones do we got? Eh, just two of them and neither of them are the ones that I want. But... Let's see, if I recall correctly, we can do some stealing. I, I don't have the command ready to go, but let me see. Okay, the Cobalt Slashers actually have Ice Flame Shields, so that's pretty nice. So I would like to try and steal those, so how about we do this? I don't have the... what is it? Or, oh, I gotta, uh examine them too okay never mind i'll just wait until i have got what i want and then i can switch to my uh, random battle setup although i might not even go that far let's see okay we got anyas there let's see ring a bell yeah let's just have everyone default while i'm examining these guys so i make sure that i don't lose that I think Obstruct is like some sort of cover command for enemies. Something weird like that. I never really worry about it. Let's see, by the way, ordinary kobolds... They... you can steal cross axes from them. I don't know how well they sell, but they are available. Okay, let's see. Do I have acrobatics for you? Yes, I do. Well, these guys don't have a whole lot of HP. So, I don't think I need Earthquake to take him out. But, yeah, the enemies in the rest of the world, much more HP to deal with. Yeah, if you just hit all of them, yeah, they can't cover for each other like that. But, at least I got two of the enemies examined here. The tough part's just surviving. But, alright, let's keep on going here. Yeah, I only really need Cure, the, the basic Cure spell, for healing outside of battle. And, okay, there we go. We got regular Kobolds. And, yeah, they can use a Genome on my party here. So, let's see what we can do. I want to see if I can take them out one at a time. So that way, I can take out some of the enemies, but not all of them. Okay, so who's weak to Thunder then? Slasher? Okay, both of them. Hmm. Okay, let's see. We got Thundara. So let's see what we can do. Let's go with that. And then, same thing on the other one. And then... Oh, I was thinking I would have a uh, pressure point or something that I could use, but no, I don't. Okay, hmm. How about... Why don't we just go with the one? I don't want to risk overkilling and then killing one of the regular guys. So let's just kill one of the archers. And let's see, Adia, why don't you go after the other archer? And then we'll see what we can do. Or they could just obstruct. But yeah, all these guys here, they're all humanoid. Uh-oh. Now this is gonna hurt. Ow. Withering Silence! There we go. Okay, that was the genome I wanted. We got everything. Let's just uh, take them out the old-fashioned way, then. Don't even need... 
uh, to worry about silence. Let's just get them all out of the way. All right, and that's all the new enemies around here. Normally, at this point, I would switch to my random battle setup that I have without using vampires, but I'm gonna. We're almost at the boss anyway, so. You know, I'm just going to stick with this. Although, one thing I would like to do is to steal some of those... What are they called? The, the Ice Flame Shields from the Cobalt Slashers. So, actually, how about we just do this with Tiz? Make him into his uh, usual thief setup. That way he can do that while, the, uh, while I don't worry about my setup for the other guys there for until we get to the boss there but okay let's see we could go with JP up and let's see let's get a bit of speed going there and rob blind so that way I can steal multiples of them and then yeah go with the dual falcon knives and as much agility as I can get on you other than a Kempogi but let's get a little more defense there on you. And these gloves. Okay, that ought to be good. Too bad I couldn't have done this when I was examining enemies, so I could guarantee he would act before my allies without having to default between all of those. By the way, uh, the boss here has ice flame shields that you could steal as well, so that may be another option, but you could only get two, obviously. So, and I would like to have up to four in the event that I need to have ice or fire immunity. Okay, I changed my setup uh, since uh, finishing that battle there. By the way, we got that blue chest up there. We're not going to be able to do anything with those until chapter six. Someone was asking about that, so, well, there you are. But yeah, I'm back in the regular boss setup that I use. Basically what I do for pretty much all the remaining chapters of the game is I like to have a general boss setup that works for bosses that I really don't have to do anything special to work around their AI or whatever they can do. And then I have specific setups for bosses where things need to be changed up or else. Okay, how's it going? And so the traitor crawls out of the woodwork. Uh oh. I know not who your companions are, Adia, but you had better change your tune or else. Okay, okay. For better or worse, you are the Grand Marshal's daughter, and still hold at least some sway in the duchy. Well, that didn't look like it in. Well, yeah, before. Your fickle whims could lead to the destruction of our realm. You must understand the position in which you are placed. Yeah, people keep on saying that. He doesn't seem to realize I am the Wind Vestal. Hmm. The king has not been captured either. Why? Hmm. Adia, you know full well what will happen if you revolt against the duchy. We'll kill all of you? Consider this carefully. Do you really intend to take up with these ruffians who accompany you? They're no ruffians. They are my friends. I could not follow the path the Knights of the Eternian Sky had taken. So I set out to see the world with my own eyes. And now I have settled things with my father. Oh, right. I was like, wait a minute, we went back in time. But no, not yet. But perhaps that was all a dream? Your words make no sense. Well, yeah, that is true. It is a JRPG after all. It disturbs me that you think there can be any excuse for your actions. You shall have to learn the resolve of a knight the hard way. Your proposal is acceptable for boss time. Your father judged you to have come of age. That is why he assigned you to the attorney in Sky Knight. But you throw it back in his face for shame. Okay, so, first thing I want to do is I want to try and steal from Heinkel there. So, yeah, uh, get a good prayer going and steal from him a few times. Shouldn't be necessary, but let's see. The Sky Archers there, yeah, they are less than extraordinary. I think they can poison you, but I never really worry about that. Especially when I've got BP recovery going. 
But alright, okay, so let's get BP generating as usual. And let's see, ring a bell, let's get the blood blade, sword magic drain going. And yeah, we'll definitely want to have Rampart. Hopefully they won't gang up on one party member. Now remember that uh, Heinkel has that cover ability there, so unless you have like a magical attack or something like Earthquake, uh, you'll have to deal with him before going after the other guys, unfortunately. Okay, we got double ice flame shield. That ought to be good enough for my needs. I mean, I could go out of my way to try and steal some from the random enemies around here, but man, I don't. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, we'll be in good shape now. Okay, so once you've gotten all that going, let's uh, work around Heinkel's high defense. He likes using Ironclad a lot to boost his defense for the round while he's covering for his allies. But fortunately, he does not have too much HP. And I can just ignore his defense anyway with a lot of my attacks. Ring a bell. Let's have him, just in case we don't win this round, let's have him get a Rampart going. Earthquake to take out the uh, Arches there. And then Adia, yeah, let's bypass Heinkel's defense again there. Might need one more round of attacks to finish him off, but we'll see. I could have Ring a Bell use Curse to reduce Heinkel's physical defense, but then he would just restore it with... Ironclad, even though it lasts for a round, it'll just overwrite for, for physical defense. So that's actually useful for us to do, but, well, that hurts when the enemies do that. Okay, now we should be in good shape. And, yeah, I'll just auto-battle after this. We probably almost have him. I don't even need to bother re-examining bosses see their current HP because my sword was not up to the task. Well, there you go. But yeah, my my approach would basically be the same regardless, but at least we get some experience out of it. Hooray! I am sorry, Lord Marshal. I could not stop your daughter. Maybe they only thought they needed to kidnap the king because we started doing, well, revolting against them to lure the wind vestal. Or maybe they've already captured Agnes in this world. But, all right, let's see. Yeah. Another item that I'll probably never use. And more party chats! Well, he didn't kidnap the king. At least not this time around. If only. What do you mean? Like everyone in the duchy? Oh, yeah. Well, that could be anybody. Oh. Well, yeah, that's probably true. No, you're not gonna... You're not gonna tell us, are you? Probably a dear, but... Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. And let's see. Okay, now I want to go back to the floor time C and find the other new enemies around there to fill out my bestiary. They may look the same as previous versions of the enemies that we've encountered, but they're a lot stronger. But they are, you know, just color palette swaps, really. Okay, let's see. You know what? Let's equip Dungeon Master now. Even though I'm not going to need it in the sea, I will need it in the next dungeon. So, yeah, let's just do that now before I forget about it. Let's see, is there anything that I would want to steal? I don't think so. But I can check it out. 
Let's see. Okay, not in the sea there or the dungeon. So now we don't really need Rob Blind. I mean, I'll just steal stuff anyway. But yeah, we don't really need it. But okay, so we got White Mage and Black Magic. Yeah, I want to get some higher level White Magic going if we can. And I want to have some higher or more powerful black magic while we're at it so and i'll list this setup in the video description as usual but i do want to use chivalry for uh random battles there and let's see okay we got physical attack there and okay let's give what do we i want the physical attack 20 percent up if i can get there there you go See, let's get you back on acrobatics. Got all the natural talent you need. And a little more physical attack power there. And, uh, yeah, strip her naked. Except for... Oh, I already had her that way. I, I, I knew that. Oh, did I not switch to the foxtail? I guess I forgot about that. Oh, well, <laughs> it worked out anyway. Whoops. I forgot to switch to that after using the the blood blade there, but yeah, as you can see, the battles do not present any real challenge. But I do need the Hermes shoes for Anya's there, so she can be faster than the regular enemies. And let's see, yeah, we'll just go with the Hermes sandals there. And okay, I think we're good. How's our uh, HP and MP looking? Mm, not too good, but I suppose I don't really need that for dealing with the random enemies. Whether it be here or in the next dungeon we're going to go to. Okay, well let's head to the floor time to see then. Right next to the water temple, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's see. Okay, let's get out over here. Increase our encounter rates. So I can find the new enemies. If I only encounter old enemies, then I'll just run from the battle until, well, I find the enemies that I'm really looking for. Oh, I can't even save in the ocean? Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, get off over here. I don't think there's any enemies that I would only be able to encounter at nighttime in the ocean. Oh, there is one, I think, maybe. But we'll see. And here they are now! Okay, Spectres and Megalodon. So let's see. Yeah, neither of those guys are that extraordinary. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so Megalodons are weak to Thunder! And Spectres are weak to Fire! So, okay, let's see. Let's try and steal from all of them if we can. Both of them have a couple of items, actually. But nothing I really care about. Let's see. Anya's. Hmm. Why don't we keep... Well... No, let's actually have her uh, get in on the offense there. Okay, so let's get... Hmm. Let's go double Thundara on the Megalodon. And then double Fyra on the Spectre there. Yeah, that ought to be. Hmm, these guys do have quite a bit of HP. I might want to go with uh, a couple Earthquakes. Yeah, why don't we go with that? And then a couple Crescent Moons, and that should be good. Ooh, Perma Crystals. Those are useful for uh, compounding. Or I could just one-shot these guys. Why not? Okay, let's see. So that leaves one other enemy that we can meet up with around here. But you know what? Since it is nighttime. Yeah, yeah. Since it is nighttime, let's uh, actually heal up so that way I can make it daytime so I'm less likely to run into the specters and hopefully more likely to run into the other enemy that I'm looking for. Since I'm not looking for any more undead monsters there. Yeah, unfortunately, the enemies in the floor time sea cannot be encountered in any of the dungeons in the chapter one areas. So you do 
have to go out of your way for it if you're trying to complete your bestiary, which I am. But all right, let's keep looking around then. Okay, I think that's the guy I'm looking for there. Kandiru, or Kandiru, however you want to pronounce it. Let's see, they are weak to thunder, like most of the enemies around here. So let's see what we can do. Let's go. Oh, no, no, I don't want to mimic. Not, not yet. Okay, let's examine them, then get a good prayer going, and then, let's see, let's try and steal from each of them there, and then, well, you know what? Nah, yeah, let's just do it. I was thinking about showing off Shakedown, but I can do that another time. Okay, these guys do not have very much HP, so yeah, let's just go with a few thunders there, and then, yeah, one earthquake ought to be good enough. Well, yeah, a little too fast there. Ooh, Stardust! I would imagine that would cast the Comet spell. Mm, oh, I was gonna say, maybe I should have uh, used stronger spells, but no, no, we're good. But, okay, that's everything we need to do here. And, let's see, I'm pretty much at full HP and MP from that last one, so let's actually go over to the Harena Ruins. If you recall, we found the Jackal there. By the way, with, uh, I forget if you could do this in Chapter 1 or not. Well, whatever it was. But if you went to Anchime and you defeated Kent along with the, uh, King, uh, Kammer, there. Oh, I should, uh, lower the encounter rate. But yeah, if you actually defeated Kent there, he wouldn't show up for the battles against, uh, the Jackal and... Who was the other one? Uh, the Profiteur guy, yeah. Chairman Profiteur. Okay, let's see. We got Dungeon Master here, just in case I run into those traps. But there are some new enemies here that I would like to encounter so let's see what we can do doesn't matter whether it's daytime or nighttime in a dungeon but let's see uh, Bux Lantern let's see these guys are weak to dark elemental stuff but otherwise I don't think there's anything too extraordinary about these guys hmm let me see what I can do here let's go examine prayer then let's use Shakedown here to steal from all of them. And then we can mimic that so I don't need to spend the BP again. Let's see, Anyas. Well, we do have the Dark spell, but it only works on one of them. Hmm. And, yeah, that's way too expensive. Uh, you know what? Let's not worry about that. Hmm. Although, no, they don't have very much HP. We'll be See, are they strong against Earth? No. You would think they would be, since they're just kind of floating there, but no, no, they're uh, susceptible to it, the same as anything else. Okay, so let's take show off Shakedown here. You'll have to watch it pretty quickly, though. Ooh, Turbo Ha! <laughs> One shot. Maybe I should have had group cast all, but yeah, you see, I would have been blinded there if I didn't have Dungeon Master equipped. Like, the first time we came here, but I hadn't learned it yet at the time, so. And, whoa, I just wanted to take a moment to look at my map, but it looks like they're not going to give me the chance. Alright, let's see, we got uh, Black Cats, or Black Kate, whatever. Let's see, these guys can use instant death on you, so you want to watch out for that. Okay, so this time I'm just going to steal from each of them once. Let's see, these guys are weak to water or light elemental stuff. So, let's see, yeah, let's just go with one earthquake there. That ought to be good enough. But I'll have backup just in case I'm wrong about that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I never used hourglasses in this game, but they are available. Okay, let's see. There's one more enemy that we can meet up with around here. If I can meet up with it now, great. If not, I can meet up with them at the Wind Temple anyway. By the way, all these enemies we're running into, they replaced the old ones from before. So we can't run into the old ones anymore. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to learn the genomes when I did. It was relatively easy. Although Vampire Castle is identical to before. But will we be able to convince the Jackal to have a change of heart about his evil ways? Or will we just have to teach him another lesson? Find out next time and Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.